Mm -hmm. um, one of the other ideas they had, I mean, there's a lot of crossovers actually. The Hell on Earth for Superman started yeah. up, and the Superman Rot top's World. been really good. Rot World, um, uh, another Scott Snyder with Jeff Lemire and the yeah. guy writing Frankenstein. Matt Kent, yeah. Matt Kent. That's a, those have been um, pretty good. I've been, I've been reading like the Frankenstein and Animal Man chapters. and. But two really big things that came out of DC. One, J. Michael Straczynski penned uh, Superman Earth 1, Volume 2, which has been waiting forever. Uh, and also, Zero Hour came back uh, oh, for a month, month the yeah. Zero Month, uh, issue zeros. What thoughts on that? Do you think it was so, a horrible it was, idea? I it think was, it was a... Uh, it was hit or miss for, you know. It, it's Speechless! One those, no, it's one of those, it's, I don't think it was necessary to have an issue zero mm -hmm. for what it was. I agree. For a lot of them, you didn't need an issue zero because all, yeah. it, all it did was just tie stuff to the first issue, which you didn't really need. Considering, yeah, considering you're a only year a later. year in, yeah. yeah. You really, did, did you really need Yeah, a lot of times, those? a lot of times, like, I remember the Amazing Spider-Girl issue zero, and that was to get you excited for that title before it launched. And it helped because, you know, yeah, those, you issues, were, those issues weren't available either, so... Yeah, I mean, it, so you, you had something to get you hyped up. New 52 has been out for a year, give or take, when Issue Zeros came out, so that's all it was. It was just... It, it was pointless. Well, I will say, though, um, of the those... Um, I think the one I enjoyed the most, like, um, Green Lantern, was the, you know, it was basically just... Uh, Introducing um, a new character. It, yeah. So and that's instead, that instead of, thing. Yeah, instead of going the route of, you know, trying to do another origin story or something like they that. Just they, give, they just give you a, uh, a new jumping on point, basically. from Like with Sazam for the Justice League. That was their way of, of introducing Sazam, which I uh, I agree with a lot of people. I do not like this Billy Baxter. I'm liking this right now. The Double J's. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to it after this next break. Listen to the man. God, I hope that gets cut out. Oh... Uh. We get you good? Ready, set, ready, Do not city, bang on the table. I have to lean in for the shot. <laughs> Back and to the left. Back, Back and to the left. Into the left. All right, ready? Back and to the left. You recording now? So this is all pointless. <laughs> all right. So, so we're just going to edit what? We're going to edit this in, okay? In about three, I want you you okay. yell and you just stare at him like, we're just angry or whatever. Or just do your Jamon thing. Yeah. Ready? So in three, two... This is Leatherface for the love of God! Look at it! Look at Leatherface! Look at this! Look at Leatherface! Look at this! Look at Leatherface! It is the same thing! It is the same! Hello, I am Leatherface! Oh, la, la, la. I will eat your heart! It is Leatherface! I'm sensing a little jealousy here. Um, yeah, you just my butt. I'm done with this. Later, Romero! <laughs> oh! Oh, the red light's back on. <laughs> How long have you been recording? Uh, just about uh, 30 seconds. Okay. I lied. Five minutes. Before we jump back on this year in review of um, comics and, 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 and TV, uh, I want to say that it's been an hour and a half since we called the cops the first time. It's been two and a half hours since Jermon called. <laughs> but he's black and they won't come. The police... Not so much. I told you to steep pie's apple, not pumpkin. Damn it. Uh, Damn it. <laughs> it's your own fault. I didn't so. know they gave you quizzes on 911. Well, we <laughs> left off talking about DC. We're going to wrap up our comics here a little bit by talking about also a resurgence in creator owned properties. Uh, we this year saw Saga, uh, Manhattan Projects, which I also grew up in the Manhattan Projects for about a week and a half. <laughs> they were good times. Because that was Chicago, wasn't it? I keep it real. <laughs> uh, I keep and, a new, and of course, Happy. And also, uh, a, a huge boon and boost, I think, in notoriety. And overall financial re remunerations, whatever you want to call it. My financial rewards for The Walking Dead. Probably right now the biggest creator on property. With a overly ridiculously successful television series. And... I've only seen the first season. A huge freaking... You're really? missing out. <laughs> You're missing out on everything. It's and on a huge comic book following as well. It's debatable. It's <laughs> uh, we haven't really seen this much creator-owned stuff since the 90s, which, of course, as is our bylaw, doesn't count. So really, we've never seen this resurgence, this whole thing of creator-owned property. Creator-owned? 
You know, it's like it's create your own. <laughs> I like to create my own comical books. I like it's to kind of are they kind of cyclical? You know, um, funny, you that's a funny dead, word. No. Cyclical. <laughs> Jermon, it's always cyclical. Yes, it is. Well, uh, it's get... cyclical. <laughs> Riddlin. The Riddler. I know him. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, God. Off the rails. <laughs> Off the rails. We can't even find the rails anymore. Where are the rails? <laughs> They're outside. Okay. Oh, there they are. Okay. Jamal, create your own. Because you it's sick. Throw it up. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> my new catchphrase. So the walking. Cyclical. So the Walking Dead has been going great guns. Uh, as as it's TV. Because uh, I think creator was just a dead thing. We're not going to talk about this, obviously. <laughs> just like the Walking Dead. See, they're dead people walking. No. It's, dead, it's like, what if right Christopher there. Walken <laughs> was dead and he was walking in a winter wonderland? Uh, the movies, the TV shows, One Long Amber Alert. <laughs> God dang it, how long does it take to find Carl? How long does it take to find a 10 year old in the apocalypse? In all fairness, this season, Carl, Carl's toughened up, man. He's, he's, oh, he's he's straight up gangster this time. Yeah. He's he's tapping stuff. Uh, why what is Carl. up with this? Why do you think uh, this Some is a huge call year? I call it like Joker. Blade. I swear. Kind of shaped like a banana. <laughs> <laughs> you call an editor. <laughs> call an editor. <laughs> Uh, why do you think Walking Dead has actually gone this, uh, I'm just gonna keep pushing through. Uh, why do you think The Walking Dead has actually become as popular as it is? I mean, aside from just the basic love of, of zombie stuff, we have way too much zombie stuff at this point. I think it's America just... has no taste. Uh, no, I think it might be because subconsciously that's what we're afraid of, is zombies. Because that's basically what we are. We're the zombies. dead riding? The dead no, rising. well... Look! Look in like what? What was well, it? In the 1950s? Religious socio aspect. That's kind of weird. Well, in the oh, 1950s, we had like what? The big, the big, the the big like bomb fallout. So UFOs, anything nuclear was really scary in the 1950s. Mm. Now it, it's zombies because that's basically what uh, everybody's calling each other. So mine was zombie. Your mom. Well, you, you're, well, you're, it, the, far, you're the, far the joker because it's quite cyclical. I think. <laughs> I don't think it's the nature of just the show itself is, you know, somewhat riveting. The um I think the main thing about the you know, the just the episodic nature of it, you know, you always they always kinda of leave things on a cliffhanger every week. So every week you're like, What's gonna happen next? you know, who's gonna get it this time? Just I mean, just that whole aspect that anybody can get it. Like there's no they're, they're very good at actually they don't have it's any, like anyone no safe died, any, yeah. yeah, anyone can die. I think at this point Daryl's safe, which may mean he's the next one to die. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no one thinks we're gonna kill like the popular character right now. Let's yeah, it's anyway. like it almost seems like him and Rick are off limits, but screw money, we're gonna do what we want. <laughs> Come on, uh, shit like a banana. <laughs> Good show. I mean, I don't like, like I said, I don't like zombie stuff, and you guys browbeat me enough to where I started watching, and I still hate the show. I still hate zombie anything, but I'm actually riveted by this thing every Sunday. On Facebook, I am just spoiling the crap out of this stuff for people. <laughs> uh, but you know what? Honestly, why are you on Facebook? Wait until I'm never going to Facebook until after Walking Dead or during Walking Dead. Um, it's, it's on four times like that night. I mean, it's, it's a very good point. You're oh my god, I that. can't believe they just did that. That's kind of what it's boiled down to to me now. I just yeah. can't believe that thing did or did not happen to that one or more characters. That may have not happened. On The Walking not. Dead or some other AMC <laughs> TV show program. Not um, Mad Men. <laughs> oh, Walking Mad Men. Damn you, Don Draper. Damn you. <laughs> Ooh.